Hi, Doug Bird from Doug Bird Second World here with Stuart Grice. How are you going, Stuart? Yeah, good, Doug. How are you, mate? Good, mate. I'm sort of suffering from last week, and we'll talk about it a bit later. Okay, we're here for this week's fish report, which is the 18th, 19th, and 20th of October already. Yes. Okay, Stuart, um, we're going to start with offshore. Yep. We're going to start with what's been happening yep. and what may happen next week, but this weekend looks a bit. This weekend crazy. looks very, very average. Yeah. So, look, at the end of the day, if you're an offshore fisherman, it's a fantastic time to get ready for when that weather picks up. Well, That's right. Drops off, I should say. Based yeah. about what we're about to tell you about from, from this previous week. So, yeah. Stuart, um, fishing's been crazy. Fishing's been really yeah. good, mate. It so, has. yeah, it yep. doesn't matter if it's snapper fishing, pearly fishing, all that bottom demersal stuff, biting mm. their heads off, dug mm. a few dolphin fish. Yeah, the old marlin. Yeah, that's right. So there's no fads except for the, maybe the odd new one, one. popping up. Yeah. Um, but look, guys, um, they're getting dollies just trolling skirts around. At, but consequently, trolling skirts around brings on other stuff as well. So sailfish, today, uh, Fish the Deep got a big sail. They did. That's a cracker. Yeah. Maybe around 40, 50 kilos, perhaps. Very uncommon by a catch. Mm, for early in the season, yeah. at least. Um, a few black marlin caught too. So, um, and, and I've even heard of Wahoo, a couple of Wahoo around as yeah. well. We were at, I was at deep water last um, Thursday and we had 24.6 at in uh, 500 meters deep. Very warm water. Very warm water and the water's so clear, so blue. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. So look, uh, we all know that the fish coming through at the moment are just coming through at the bait. There's a lot of bait out there too. Yeah. Um, and, but the schooled up fish are still coming. So yep. they may come early, but um, there's a few up at Harvey Bay, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, so they're not far away, uh, and, and uh, further up the coast, Yapoon, all that sort of area. Um, we will probably start to see an early mum season, I dare say, if, the, if we don't get too much rain. And then um, the mackerel won't be far behind them. So I'm guessing sort of mid to late November, we might start to see a few more marlin. Definitely by early December, they'll be, they'll be pumping it up. And the mackerel probably around the similar time. The Spanish mackerel, that is, not yep. spotty so much. Anyhow, Stu... Um, we are going to talk more about skirts at the moment. So, yeah. trolling skirts around, Stuart. This is the sort of size, yeah, buddy. Yeah, so that size and a little bit smaller even. Yeah, like, a I mean, that color. type of thing there. We've got a really good range of skirts for um, in the early season. We have thousands um, of different we, skirts, yeah. We do yeah. thousands. Yeah, heaps. Of, yeah, and we oh. rig them all up for you guys, and we do a good deal with you as well. Um, probably better than online rig, actually. Hmm. Yeah, so the pricing is right. Um, and we'll show you how to place them behind your boat, and we obviously do seminars on that a bit later in the year, but uh, we'll probably bring that one forward early, actually, yep. in November. But, um, so skirts are great at the moment. Uh, look, if you want to go a bit wider and the weather does come good next week, troll and deep divers, we can bring any up with us here. We've got, we've got thousands of those downstairs too. Um, but for yellow fin Stuart, yeah. deep divers are good, right? Yeah, they're yep. not too bad. I'll just troll skirts as well. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Troll... Stick baits, stick baits work good. You can troll yeah. them or you can cast them. Yeah, true. Yeah. So a couple of deep divers, a couple of skirts out the back. Um, skirts could be anything from that size, but you want a lot bigger hook than what normal. So probably an 8 heavy or a 10 light. Um, and up to sort of 10 inch and 12 inch skirts are fine. You need to troll it on 30 pounds a bit light, so probably 50 pound tackle. Um, the yellowfin range in size from 30 kilo up to about 80. Um, the thing is, though, as bycatch, you're going to get striped marlin and blue marlin. Yep. Spoke to a couple of guys the other day trolling light gear around Tealy 25 and got uh, spooled on uh, blue. Mm. Um, so you need to um, probably up the ante a little bit. Gear a bit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, but we've got to look here as well to help you out. Okay, Stuart, um, bottom fishing, mate. So we deep yep. dropped on... Saturday and got a few bar cod. It was a little bit quiet. The fish were on the sounder everywhere. My mate was out on the Monday previous, which was a holiday last week. Um, and they got some really nice blue eye at the same position and some Alphonse as well. Um, we saw them on the sounder and I know what they look like on the sounder because we fish all the time. They just didn't bite <laughs> on Saturday. Um, so it was a bit of a bite period around 10 o'clock last Saturday mid morning to nearly lunch and they went quiet again early. It was a bit quiet as well. Um, but that's what's happening in the deep. There's been a few flame snapper caught as well um, up north and, uh, and Alfonso, as we said. Barcod and bass grover, the old bass grover. But in on the 50s or just outside the 50s, some big pearlies around still, mm. Stuart. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and that, say, 100 to 120 type mm. metre mm. stuff. Um, still yep. a fair few good pearlies and yep. yeah, peak fish out there and all that bass yep. as well. So. And for Pat and Oster, these are my favourite rig. They come as a two, there's two lots of two hooks there. Um, the circle hooks are dressed hooks and they're on fluorocarbon and they actually really kick butt. Um, I do run two hooks joined together. Um, so I have four hooks on my line, but it's up to you how you want to do it. Yeah. Yep. Um, they work well. 
Uh, otherwise, um, you can float line, but you don't get as many pearl as float line if you do Pat Noster. They love Pat Noster. Yeah. Yeah, so chuck a big lead on a pound or a pound and a half and just straight down and keep it vertical if you can. Yep. Um, Stuart, um, King is an amber jack smoke jigging. Yep, yep, that's been really good too. Yeah, so been... you were out the other day, you got a good one again? Um, was that, that last week? No, we talked about oh, that we last week. Oh, we closed them, sorry. Yep, yeah, okay, yeah, we're trying, trying to week. give Stuart a double, double bonus here, but yeah. That's right. Um, so. I was just going to say, that was the day that we caught a few but not heaps, and you said that it was the fisherman, and then you went out later on and caught less, so I want to know what your excuse is. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't jig. Okay, let's kick right. on. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, um, guys, um, the um, the jigging's been really good. Fifty fathoms northeast has been really, really good. Yep. Uh, and down east of Seaway, twenty eight zero one. So twenty eight zero one or twenty eight zero zero is your latitude. One fifty three forty six is a really good spot there to fish at this time of year in October. Yeah. Yeah. Kings and Jacks North and a few kings and big ones and lots of kings east and a few and Jacks. Yep, uh, snapper out there as well, guys, um, and the normal bycatch of pearlies and parrot and whatever else yep. goes with it. 36 fathoms too, big snapper caught last weekend. I saw some yeah. big ones around 80 and 90 centimetres. Yeah, it was really good, yeah. Yeah, Lots float lining cool. was good, mate. Um, yep. So just Plastics float lining. Plastic's really good. So, too. yeah, plastic wise, Stuart, using around sort of four inch or five inch. Five inch, yep, yeah, like that sort of size. Yep. Um, paddle tail is really good as well, but jerk shad seem to be more popular for the snapper. Yeah, sink a little bit far. quicker, yep. a little bit lighter weight, you can fish it a bit yep. more effective. Correct, yeah, that's right. Um, and look guys, I've had a couple of people, I haven't got any here, but they're downstairs, but not just in our hand right now. But the crust city in the um, imposter shrimp, the big one, yeah. the, the five Four inch, and a half or which is about is, a seven yeah. inch and really healthy, but yep. <laughs> it's a big, big prawn. Um, they've been smacking the, um, the snapper on those yeah. too. And fishing a fairly light jig head and just letting it waffle down and just getting hammered. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Thai rubber jigs are really, really good as well. Yeah. Leave those downstairs too. Um, anyhow, uh, 24 fathoms again, snapper uh, being caught. There's a few kings even on the 24s as well, mm -hmm. as in as in Yalta King, and solid fish around that 10 kilo, 15 kilo. Uh, cobia, amazing. So many cobia. I don't know how many cobia are on the Gold Coast at the moment. There's a bit lots. They've been coming in for months, and uh, and long tail, same deal. Coming in for months, so they're still out there. Yeah, <laughs> still out yep. there. So liveys or just uh, float line pillies down, and we get on on the uh, soft plastics as well. Okay, in closer, Stewie on the 18s, a few Jew getting yeah, the way getting caught. Yeah, few still getting caught. The moon's still around at the moment, up. so full yeah. moon. Um, look, I think there's a little bit of weather's not too bad. Maybe tomorrow is it Friday? Yeah, I think so. But then it comes hard northerly on Saturday and Sunday it goes around to the south. South. South? Yeah. Yeah. But next week, hopefully there's a few good days. Now, Stu, while we're offshore, you're heading up to the reef next week, mate. Yeah. Where are you going, yeah. mate? Going Tell us all about it. We're going to Swains on the big cat trip next week. Big cat reality? Yes, yeah, on Great Tuesday. Boat. Great charter. Yeah. So, uh, I'm slightly jealous, Stuart. That's uh, all right, mate. You've yeah. had your fair share. Oh, true. And true. That's good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what Stewie brings back. The stories, Stewie stories, with all Stewie stories. <laughs> a lot probably, of stories. It'll probably be a, a rap version, but you'll get to hear it all about it, okay, mm. next week. Or yeah. well, the week after, sorry, because I'll be on my own next week. Okay, um, let's go inshore. Oh, the spam crabs are still around too, Stuart. Yes, there we is. We are yeah. selling so many spam crab pots yep. at the moment. Yep. Going hard. So, big spam crabs. Um, 50 metres east of Q1. Yep. yep. Okay, let's go to jumping pin. So, there are so many big tailor in the jump pit at the moment. And we're talking big, like I saw one the gentleman had on Facebook yesterday. Well done too, mate. It was a 70, yeah, 76? 70s or so. 76, 70s, yeah, it was yeah. a good fish. Or 77. Really big. <laughs> it was a big tailor. Very fat, very wide. But not only him, like heaps of our customers get them around that 50 to 70 centimetre size, not actually intentionally fishing for them, fishing for, snap, uh, for flatties, sorry, yep. or jewies or whatever it may be, and this getting smashed by tailor. But if you want to go and catch Taylor Stewart, I'm definitely going to be using something like this type of thing here. Yeah, so yeah. shore cast in jig type style, Dougie, has yeah. definitely been very popular. As down on the seaway as well, the, for the yeah. land-based guys, that type of thing. 30 but, to 60 um, grams. Yep. yep. They're a little bit different shape to a standard metal, and they've got the treble on the back and an assist hook on the front. Mm. And Dougie, it's surprising how many fish you land, mm. especially land-based, mm. because that assist on the front, mm. get some somewhere in the gill plate or Correct. something like that as Correct. well. So yeah. you've got two hooks in them, they don't rattle off when they jump and stuff they, like and that. they don't bite you as, off as well. Yep. Or less chance. Yeah. Yep. Little Shimano ones yeah, just came in good. as well. There's a little Colt Sniper, same type of thing, rear weighted. Yep. So these things are going to cast an absolute mile. Again, guys, we got in, I don't know, 
three or four hundred new SKUs this week, lures yeah, and whatever lots. else, lots yeah. of new product that you've never seen before, nor have we, yeah. um, but looks good. Yeah. Um, Stuart, um, so yeah, definitely casting those or jigging them um, just put it through the bait, out to the pin in the bar area, back to about probably Crusoe yeah. Island. Um, so we had a flathead comp on last Sunday. It was hor horrific weather, like I'm talking 30 plus knots of southerly and rain that you couldn't even see the front of the boat when you're driving along. Yep. <laughs> you said, keep your eyes just peeled to see if you can hit nothing, but there was no boats there because no one's stupid like I said. Mm. But we had our five boat, five customers fishing with us um, and we caught some really good fish too. Like yeah, we did. A lot of 70s, 60s. Um, I've got to say, Jamie, Smashed it with a 91 centimetre flatty. Yep. Um, Dino, who used to work with us, who um, went out one of the in his boat, he got a 87 or 85. 85, yeah. 85. Uh, we got a lot of fish considering the weather was blowing 30 plus knots and it was horrific. Um, there was still unbelievable fishing. Yeah. I don't know how many fish you got a lot, but like, you know, I think it's about 11th year, is it, Stu? Yep. 11th year, and yep. like they say, 10 out of 10, and that's what Stewie did. Stewie beat us all again. And uh, the, the boss, I don't know if I say excuses, because <laughs> Stuart come back at me harder. But anyhow, Stuart got, well done, Stuart. Well yeah, done, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah, well thanks, done. Mate. Congratulations. Yeah, you did really mate. well, Stuart. I think you got about 800 and something points. Yeah, 818 points. Plenty of and, and that was fishing from about 7.30. We started to around uh, 1, 130. 1, 1.30. So, yeah. like six hours of fishing, uh, which is probably two thirds of the time of the Flatter Classic. So, you're talking over a thousand point day. Which I don't think anyone got in the photo classic properly. Maybe. Not this year, no. Not this year, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Uh, so, well done, um, Stuart. And to the boys that fish with us, well done to you guys too. I hope you learned a bit and have a great time. And next year, we'll be doing the same again. Starting in July, we start doing tickets. Every 50 bucks, you get a ticket into the draw. Yep. Five lucky winners. But a lot of flatty. So, where do we flatty fish to? We fish around Kalinga, but it was yep. a bit rough. It was blowing suddenly hard up on the bank. It was like fishing in the surf. Um, but we... Done it and got a few fish, um, but you had to try and get out of the wind. So you're talking like Millionaire's Row, uh, um, Tank Bank, which is on the end of Crusoe, and uh, Tiger Mullet Channel. It was about the only places you could fish, and a couple up around Pandanus. You got a few out there, Stu, didn't you? Got a couple, yeah. Yeah, out of the wind a little bit once you get up around Tipper's Channel. So um, when it's blowing suddenly, you got to do what you got to do. So this this Sunday, this is what I'm getting at, this Sunday's mm. going to be blowing suddenly if it is. Yeah. Um, that, they're the areas to fish, okay? and. On Saturday, so we've been going 30 not nordly, <laughs> um, I'll be chasing flatties definitely along Kalinga Bank. Yep. 100%. Okay, I'll give that a crack. And around Wally's gutter is the other spot yep. in Nordley. Give that a go. Okay, and there's plenty of flatties around. Stewie, soft plastics for flatties? Like, you know, I'll yeah, use these. Those little oh, fellas good. there, mate. Yep. Little, little flat shots. Are you getting really these to those flat shots now, Stewie? Oh, well. Looks like you are. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They work really well, actually. Okay. Uh, little vibes. Yep. Biggest thing is this time of year, just use a small little lure. The baits, the baits kind of mix sizes, but if you just want to catch fish, just use a small lure. Mm. Okay. Yep. yep. Perfect. That's a good idea. And that that's true. This everything's actually downsized a bit. Yeah. Um, the last month. Yeah. Um, we also got a range of these back in again, um, which is shake and dance. They're called, I think. Yep. From uh, it's tackle, great lures. That we've got about seven or eight colours down there now. Um, they are one of our best selling trolling lures for flatties. So when it's windy like this weekend coming up, just throw the lures out and troll the edge of the banks. Yeah. And they're good, it's a good flatties. So it's a good one the other day, trolling as well. Stewie, um, a lot of whiting up there as well. Yeah. Again, and big whiting. Yep. Yeah, uh -huh. they're big. Yeah, yeah. They're a few good broomer stuff yep. around the Kalinga as well, up yep. towards the back end for the guys in bait fishing. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I was in the, that little bay, second basin on the end of Strati there the other day, and um, yeah, we saw some massive whiting just on the edge on the shallows. Yeah. No one fishing for them, but they were there. So yep. the fish unweighted yabbies or worms or a very small sinker. Yeah. And fish like you do at the back of wave break, same same way. Yeah. Okay, Stuart, broadwater. Let's head down this way. Yeah. Okay, so um, the broadwater's cleared up a lot in the last week. It's really good. Yeah, it has. Yeah, it yeah, has, yeah. 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 So I went for a quick flatty fish yesterday morning just for an hour. I got a few flatties in the seaway because only 74, but um, it was a howling suddenly yesterday morning. For those who went out might know what I'm talking about. That was on Wednesday morning. Yep. Yep. Um, so, but the flatties are there. There's plenty of flatties there. Um, and the waters was very clear. Only a little bit of snot weed compared to a week ago where there's lots of snot weed. So it wasn't too bad. Um, I heard there's a few fish around crab as well at the same time. The water's fairly clear up there as well. Yep. 
and definitely around the banks sort of adjacent to Aqua and um, um, Grand Hotel, uh, Grand Hotel, Hotel area. Yeah, down yeah. To, even down to Lotus Creek actually. Yep. Give that a go. Big whiting, um, these ties are really good for whiting as well. So fish the back of wave break on, yep. on the flats. Like I said, no no weighted yabbies, so unweighted yabbies. Fantastic, great fun. Uh, give that a go. And that's something that you can do in a little bit of wind as well. Yeah. It's always a little bit sheltered down there, so Correct, it's not yes, too bad. Especially in from the east. Yep. Um, and guys, the seaway's been had a lot of bait in there. And um, there's some videos that our customers showed us from a couple of days ago where the whole the width of the, and the length of the seaway was just alive. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah. the slime is yakis and pillies. And guys, I won't go through his cast net and he'll get pulled in the water. that much bait in his cast net. Yeah. Good idea to do. You need, a, you need one of those uh, drawstring nets, which we sell yep. in that sort of situation. But guys, um, he's the bait around, which means he's the stuff around. So Trevally, it has a Trevally I'll make it the other day. Yeah, Trevally, yep, yeah, that was yep. last Friday, I think we talked about it. was last Friday. Did yeah, we talk about it? Yeah, we did. Yeah. But it was a big fish, like 27 and a half kilo Trevally. Mm, that's Anywhere right. is big. Yeah. But especially in the seaway on a kayak yeah, on a 30 right. pound braid. That's right. Uh, mm. But really good. Mm. So Trevally, Dewey's. Um, snapper. Snapper, heaps yep. of tailor. Yeah. Heaps of tailor in the um, seaway. So yep. a lot of guys throw like heavy weighted minnows type of thing. So they're little casting minnows. So mm. they actually sink. But they cast them all because they're quite heavy. So mm. land based guys, that's perfect. Or little, um, little stick baits and stuff like that work a treat as well. So. Yep off the south wall. So we're gonna let the cat out of the bag because it's, it's all over now, the seasons for flatties and comps, but yep. I was wishing I'd have an old been fishing with and get a look at big flatties this year around the seaway. And those are really, really good, okay? And I'm using them on a fused jig head, 4.0 or 5.0, very small at one eighth or one six. Those fellas there. Cast them right up under the rocks and just little twitch, twitch, and hop it down to the next little level and you just feel a tink and it's always a big one comes straight at your flat chat hit the rod tip up wind fast set the hook i am so happy that you let that cat out the bag dougie because we can see where it got you this year lots of fish not in comp time and big ones too that's right <laughs> camera broken was it uh, no got photos oh you know it? yeah, yeah it i thought i showed you that yeah, you might okay. have forgotten i was trying to forget about my bigger fish that's right, yeah. i know yeah. that how it works anyway okay Stuart. Yep. so um, while we're in the seaway, uh, Marcus, went, Marcus at works. he went for a dive this morning, I think. Yeah. And um, he says it's full of big jacks already really starting to rock yeah. up and big flatties. So yep. um, there's a lot of big fish in the seaway. Yeah. Because so, yeah, so. of the bait factor. Yeah. Look, if that, all that bait's there, everything's going to follow it. So, yep. yeah. Mm. So look, um, we're doing a talk on jacks tonight, actually a seminar tonight. And it is jack time. So yep. it's starting. Uh, I'd be definitely fishing the Coomera um, around Santa Barbara to the to the highway bridge yep. and definitely um, the canals at Runway Bay, Sovereign Island, um, Paradise Waters, Paradise Point, all that sort of areas are good. Yep. Um, and give it a go for um, the jacks. Um, the tides this weekend, look, um, they're probably not too bad. You want that sort of low tide late afternoon, which it will be, but it will be blowing a gale. Yep. So, but if you get the canals, it's not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. Yep. Yeah, the water's starting to warm up in the canals, about 22 degrees at the moment, so not too bad. Um, Stewie, um, other than that, uh, a few sand crabs, a few muddies starting to show around. I thought it'd be more muddies after that rain we had last in the last week, Yeah, but haven't heard much. So, uh, but and the there. water didn't get real dirty either, no, like it, it didn't. didn't really, we no. got a lot of rain, mm. but it didn't really flush things out, which is a bit strange, but it was think, so dry, a lot of that water yeah. just gets seeped straight in. I think those big tides too from the full moon cleaned Took up. Took it away too, pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So the beach fishing this weekend gonna to be too windy, guys. I'm sorry to say, look, you might get some dart and whiting on the beach, and, and there'll be tailor probably, but you just mm. can't do it in that wind. Yeah, it'll be hard. It'll yeah. Be hard. So if you're land based, um, probably stick to uh, along the spit and cast back towards uh, towards Labrador way because you have the wind behind you. Yeah. Give that a go. Paradise Point in that area is gonna be a bit windy. You have to go on the Coomba Creek side maybe. Give that a go. Okay, um, that's probably our oh, freshwater stew. What's happening in the bass, man? Um, mate, I haven't heard a heat, but I mean, yep. all that wind, you're going to get a pretty good surface bite early yep. morning. Bass are actually one of those fish that actually don't mind a northerly, don't mm, you? So, mm. Sunday when it's howling northerly, go bass fishing. Um, yep. If you can, so, in the creeks and stuff like that, yeah, little yeah. minnows, that type of thing, little, little shad little patterns. Shads. Yeah, um, they work really well. If not, any surface stuff, early yep. morning, late arvo, low light conditions, you'll catch yep. a few bass for yep. sure. 
And if you, we've got a lot of guys going out barra fishing at the Wonga and Montra yeah. at the moment. Yep. Stu, we've got some new, another new brand in this week as well. Yeah, Digital mm -hmm. Squad. So digital these are, squads. they go with the Barramundis. Mm. So really good plastic, um, that kind of minnow type shad pattern. And um, yeah, really good roll on them, Dougie. Nice mm. and durable, good colours. They just seem to work, mate. Yeah, they're good. Yep. So a lot of other new stuff as well in that area as well. So. Um, every week we get customers going out there, so we sort of know what's happening as well. So if you want to come in and we'll know about that, we can teach you about that as well. And we got there ourselves as well. So, yep. Okay, I think that's about it. Stu, we wrapped it all up. Yep. Um, look, we are maybe going to do. I've got a few guys asked about doing a seminar on yellowfin tuna while they're around. Um, so we may do something in two weeks time when you get back, um, which will be early November, first week, I think. Yep. Yep. So we'll keep you informed on that one. That'll be our next seminar on yellowfin tuna. Casting stick baits, trolling skirts, and live baiting. Yep. yep. Okay. And QB. Yes. Torches. Yep. Okay. Okay, no worries, guys. So um, keep in touch on that one. Have a great weekend. Sorry about the weather. Hopefully, next week will come good and get out there. And Stuart, have a great holiday. Safe one, mate. Thanks, mate. Oh, if you have any photos of hooks in your hand, please take the photos. I want to see that. That's... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> like, pull a little bit. But yeah, that's all good. <laughs> Whatever. Thanks, <laughs> okay, right. no worries at all. See you next week, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.